Since the early 60s, there has been a dramatic increase in the use of plastics by the automobile manufacturers. The major problem confronting the repair technician is that of plastic identification. Now with SEM's complete plastic repair and refinishing system, this problem no longer exists. All of the different types of plastics used on the automobile fall into two categories, thermoplastic and thermoset. Thermoplastics can be identified easily because they will smear and melt when sanded, react to heat and cold by expanding and contracting, have a memory and if distorted can be reformed with the use of heat. The majority are black in color. Thermoset plastics can be identified by the following characteristics. Powders when sanded, cannot be changed after it is formed, and are vanilla, light gray, black or yellow in color. In the past, the technician could not start the repair until the plastic from the damaged part was identified. SIM uses the KISS system and keeps it simple with two categories, flexible and rigid. Once the plastic has been properly identified, there are three basics for a proper repair. Chemical, mechanical, time. A quality job starts with proper cleaning and surface preparation. All SEM prep materials are made to gravitate into the pores of the substrate, allowing them to float the contaminants to the surface so that they can be easily removed. Keep in mind that cleaning each of the two types of plastics is always the same. However, there are slight differences in the repair process and with the products used. Let's take a look at flexible plastics. If the substrate is not refinished, wash first with 38338 Scuff and Clean, applying with a gray or red scuff pad. Scrub until surface is clean, then rinse thoroughly. Scuff and Clean removes water-soluble contaminants, such as dirt, organic material, and road film. Use a soft cloth to completely dry the surface. If the part to be repaired has been refinished, use 39913 Bumper Stripper to remove the refinished material. 39913 is not intended to remove the OEM baked finish. Repeated applications of 39913 to certain plastics can cause swelling and distortion of the bumper. Clean thoroughly with 3835 Plastic Prep using a clean, lint-free towel. Wipe in one direction or apply World Class Vinyl Plastic Prep. Use a red or gray scuff pad, rinse with water, and dry. To test if the surface area is clean, put a small amount of water on the substrate. If contamination still exists, the water will bead. If the surface area has been cleaned properly and no contamination exists, the water will sheet off. After cleaning, you're ready to begin your repairs. If the plastic part is severely damaged, its structural integrity may first need to be restored. Use this procedure. Clean with Scuff and Clean and Plastic Prep. Apply a bead of 39910 Instabond along the edge and align the front of the plastic part. You can now apply the accelerator, using the Instabond as your third hand to hold the part in place. Clean with plastic prep on the backside and wipe in one direction to remove contaminants. Grind the backside with a 24 grit disc at a low RPM and blow off. Reclean with plastic prep or world class vinyl plastic prep. The substrate is now ready for cosmetic repair. V-groove and taper the damaged area with a 24 grit disc. Then sand around the damaged area with 80 grit disc. Apply the repair material to fill the area. Spread with putty knife or spreader. Then press firmly to eliminate air pockets. The product should be higher than the surrounding surface. This allows for sanding and match of contour. We are now ready to equalize. Place reinforcing tape over the damaged area and press down firmly on the back side of the panel. Equalize the repair material before application. Install the static mixer. Cut off the tip to the desired application size. Dispense two to three inches of test material to make certain the color is uniform. Apply the appropriate material. 
After repair material cures, 15 to 20 minutes later, sand first with 80 grit paper. Finish with 180 grit. Reapply same material or a skin coat of 39458 flexible polyester putty or 39482 flexible polyester glaze. Finish with 180 grit paper. Prime the surface and paint. Technicians often experience problems with rigid plastics. Unlike the sanding of the flexible plastics, the technician should slow down the RPMs of his grinder to prevent melting the substrate. If melting occurs or if the substrate starts to smear, stop. Allow the substrate to cool, then re-grind and re-clean with plastic prep. Apply 70006 reinforcing tape on the backside to support the repair material. Apply a skim coat of 39767 over the reinforcing tape. You may now return to the front side. Clean with plastic prep. Then build the repair material higher than the surface with problem plastic material. Allow 10 to 20 minutes dry time before sanding. Note, adhesion improves with time. Sand the repair material to match the contour of the plastic part. Finish sanding with 180 grit sandpaper. SEM offers two unique primer systems, flexible primer surfacer and 39624 world-class primer surfacer. These unique products offer a one-step ready-to-spray solution that not only fill but also provide superior holdout and sealing characteristics. SEM primers are also compatible under most major paint companies film. At this point, you may proceed with 39113 flexible bumper sealer. 39113 is formulated for a barrier coat that eliminates sand scratch, swelling and lifting of feather edges on repair areas. SEM's flexible primer surfacer should be sprayed from a primer gun with at least one 80 to 90 thousandths fluid tip or 1.8 to 2.3 on gravity equipment. Allow the final coat to dry 30 to 40 minutes before sanding or finishing. Flexible primer surfacer may be sanded with 320 to 600 wet or dry sandpaper. Clean once more with plastic prep. For textured bumpers, use 39853 texture coating. At this point, you may apply a bumper coater color of choice. When flex agents are required, SEM offers 39728 Super SEM Flex. 39728 is a universal flex agent that is compatible with most major paint companies' material. Note, flex agents are to be added to unthinned, unreduced materials. Now you're ready to paint. Apply the paint system of choice, starting with the color and finishing with the clear coat. With SEM's system, simplicity is the key to plastic repair and refinishing. The technician provides the highest quality repairs and keeps his profit dollars in-house. If it is determined that a plastic part is damaged beyond repair, aftermarket parts as well as OEM replacements may be used. Top coat adhesion can be a problem on these parts. To achieve adhesion, use the following procedures. Perform the normal cleaning procedures with scuff and clean and plastic prep. Sand the surface with 400 to 600 grit paper. Blow off the surface and then tack. Apply one medium wet coat of plastic adhesion promoter. Allow it to flash and follow with one full wet coat. Let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, do not allow plastic adhesion promoter to flash for over 30 minutes. If the 30-minute working time should elapse, reapply the adhesion promoter before you apply color. SEMS systems solve the refinishing problems that confront today's technicians. If you have questions, SEMS technical service personnel are available to help. Just call 1-800-831-1122 or send any email questions to www.sem.ws.